Right, folks, I am back. How many times do I say that? I've got a bit deaf in this ear. I woke up yesterday morning, and it's like, you know when you go swimming, and uh, you get water in your ear? Well, I've done that. I got that yesterday, then I put some of this spray stuff in it. And it cleared up a bit later, but this one's gone again. It's, I don't know whether it's the way I'm sleeping, because I do tend to find that I sleep on my arm like that, and it's like, I've pushed out. Let's see if I can get a bit of suction. No, it's a bit, I don't know, I hope it's ain't ear infection. I'll be losing my balance and falling over. Anyway, shut the fuck up about your ear, old Dave, and your ear wax. See, what we do at work, so we have to put buds in. And, uh, yeah. So what I've done, I've actually ordered some of them uh, ear candles that you put in and you set fire to them. In fact, I think I might even review that. Um, right, folks, we're back at the uh, CAF Express. And I am slobbering all over the place because I have actually been and bought myself a chili burger. Now, the other day I did the fully loaded and um, the, the breakfast cob, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Uh, so what I've done, I'm a bit peckish. I've got to go around own bargains. I've got to go around Morrison's. I've got my mask. Oh, I've got this mask as well. I've got two masks now. Uh, I've got this one. BVM with the England Rose, off the rugby. Uh, so, I'm a bit peckish. I've not had no breakfast. So, what I thought I'd do is I'd just pop in uh, and see what happens. And there it is, folks. Oh, I've got a bit of tissue paper on there. <laughs> uh, there it is. The chilli burger. Or the, the spicy burger, is she getting... There you go. There it is, folks. Um, jalapenos on the bottom. she got some uh, hot chilli sauce onions burger on a nice brioche bun i do like spicy stuff i don't like these absolutely hot ridiculous things where you can't enjoy the flavor you can't enjoy the taste i just don't see the point in it um you know fucking hell he's about reversed into that car dasher intelligent logistics i think you ought to be intelligent about your driving sunshine I'm opposite the old uh, Dime Gate 3 recycling yard in Loughborough. I think it used to be the old Echo place. Yeah, the old Echo. Anyway, shut up, Dave. Let's tuck in. nice that is nice that is nice cheese is nice and gooey On, I tell you what That's got a sweetness to it. I can't put my finger on it. Or my tongue. That is... That is good. That is a quality burger. Mmm. The jalapenos that are sweet. Or is it the sriracha sauce? Scaracci or whatever? That was uh, put in the... Uh, on the bun. Oh, God. I think... This is going to be my go-to place for a burger and stuff. Really, really good. I think if you're ever out this way... If you're ever out this way in love, bro, or you're not out this way in love, but you just fancy something to eat, 
that is a really sweet spicy taste i was not expecting that the burger's nice and thick it's full of flavor something fucking mcdonald's don't know anything about Mm. That is tremendous. I can't remember how much it was because I just dipped and dabbed. But that is absolutely tremendous. I oh, fucking hell, I could go back and have another one of these. <sighs> Why do I re review food? All I do is I get hungry and then I want more. Mm. And you know what she's done as well? See that bit there? Lean out. There's a little bit of burnt onion. And I fucking love that little bit of burnt onion. It just gives it that caramelising dark taste. And I love it absolutely love it and you can't do it at home it's got to be on one of them big fucking hot plate things right that just i don't know why it just does june can do it she can do it i don't know how she does it mm. Lad and son there, look. That used to be like me and my dad. My dad would like used to make, come on, we've got to do this, you've got to learn this, you got to learn that. And I used to just walk around like a typical fucking teenager. Not bothered, trying to make an interest, not really interested in doing my job, you know. Because you work with your parents. You work with your parents, it's hard for your parents to sack you into it. You know what I mean? It's a completely different situation than working with other people where people can give you i mean don't get me wrong my dad used to give me some bollockings uh for not pulling me weight and all that but you know, a typical teenager knew it all didn't want to work all i was thinking about was going out with the lads or football or such and such like that so a little bit of advice for you people out there If you've got a kid and you think you want them to work in the business for you or you are a kid and you want to go into the family business don't do it don't fucking do it go out there into the real world first deal with other people go and make your way in life without relying on your parents because as soon as i stopped working with my dad that's when i started to actually grow up and realize the importance of getting a job Funding your own way and standing on your own two feet because while I used to work with my dad My dad always used to pick up the bits that I couldn't be fucking asked to it's there. It's, it's a fact, right? You, you can't do it. So if you are actually thinking of going and working with your dad who's a builder One don't because it'll it could ruin your relationship with your father uh, your father your father and two the parents expect you to do everything for fucking next to nothing, right? They don't, they don't pay you right. You get, oh, but you've had the van all weekend and I've put petrol in it. Well, what's good's that to me? What am I going to do? Drink petrol or drink fucking Carlsberg? Just don't talk like you look. You look like Hulk Hogan. And he does. My dad looks like Hulk Hogan. Got the big moustache and the fucking ponytail and all that stuff. Dad, you're 75. It's about time you fucking grew up. He had his ear pierced when he was something like 63. Yeah, he won't let me have my ear pierced when it was the fashion. Um, anyway, so yeah, don't do that. Uh, back onto the burger. Absolutely stunning. This is going to be my go-to place when i want a burger or a breakfast cob
I honestly can't say any more than that. The only trouble is, I want another one. But I'm not going to do it, because June will see it and she'll know all about it. And she'll be calling me fat. Laters.